Well, hello there. I'm glad to see you all. I can see that SP Lover is already in the chat. Hi to you. Really glad to see you today. And yeah, today we are streaming again in English. Oh, it feels like I haven't been doing that in quite a while, <laughs> which is why I feel like I mm, lost some. Um, well, I've not skilled in uh, no being used to speaking English. Oh, I think it'll always be uh, weird either speaking one language or the other. But yeah, as you can see, uh, my setup is a bit different. Mm, I, while I do have a green screen behind my back, I cannot do chroma key yet because uh, I wanted to buy some light that would make that possible. Because when I was, was trying to do that with the current setup that I have with my current lamp, I just couldn't get rid of this, you know, uh, light beam right on top of my head <laughs> for some reason. But yeah, I think um, in a couple of days I'll buy a different lamp and that's gonna be fine. And yeah, today we're gonna have a more laid-back uh, stream that has to do with uh, uh, with building one of the projects that I started back in, well, December. Yeah, one of those projects that got lost uh, within the all the other things that I started, including the, um, uh, the machinima stuff and, uh, well, all the rest. Uh, Mr. Stream in Russian, that's not a problem at all, because I think I'll be doing that regularly at least once a week. So you can always catch up. Um, we So far I've been only doing the Machinima streams, but I think the next one will be dedicated to something else. I think it'll be pretty fun to try and build something as well while commenting in Russian. Uh, I find it a bit, a bit easier to focus on the stuff that I'm making while I'm narrating my native language, because no matter how fluent I thought of myself, uh, still, it does take more of, uh, you know, processing uh, when it's a different language that you're not used to to talking from the very childhood. But yeah, the plan for today is that we uh, continue building this stuff that I was... Uh, that I started all the... Uh, all those days um, ago. So last time we finished the Western Tower, I believe. And this time around we are working on the Eastern Tower. And uh, I believe it's gonna be... Mm. No, I think I will need some sort of a recap for myself even. Because <laughs> I can't even remember what um, the plan for it was. Ooh, but yeah, it's gonna be pretty, pretty fun, I believe. And yeah, how was your week, by the way, guys? Uh, what have you been up to? I, for instance, uh, finished uh, the Attack on Titan anime series. It was a, a long time cooking for myself. <laughs> I believe I started it, watching it uh, for the first time maybe back in 2022. And back then uh, there were only four seasons without the, you know, feature films. Or, you know, uh, the one hour and a half uh, versions of those. Mm, so, yeah, it was quite a journey for me, especially today. Uh, I just uh, finished uh, the very last uh, episode and I was like, oh man, that is really something. Um, so, the, the park should be located somewhere in here, and I can't remember why it was all the way here. I think we might need to move it back using the, um, what do you call that? Mm, the lot adjuster? Yeah, that's the app that, uh... <laughs> Hello there, Markwa! Nice to see you today. How was your week going? And the SP lover had a boring week and died your hair red. Ooh! In such a case, you might like uh, the next video that is in the making uh, using this reshade preset. <laughs> that is designed exactly for that, for isolating the red color. So yeah, I found uh, a pretty easy way to set this up in the reshade. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. I was actually thinking of uh, dedicating this stream to finishing uh, the video, uh, but then, then I thought that no, it, it's like... Um, it's a video that's best released, uh, you know, in an edited format rather than during a stream. <laughs> but still, mm. a statue with a plumb up in the way. Um, I don't think that's the case because that's the one that. Um, where is it? Let me. Uh, that's the one that I placed specifically in the middle. Mm, but yeah. Hmm. Why don't we try and check if that is what's stopping us from moving the lot? I don't think it is, but. Who knows, maybe it is. Nah, it's not the statue. It's probably, uh, it has something to do with the lots, probably. Right there. The tower itself, because 
It wasn't located there the last time. But anyway, that's not much of a problem because... Um... Oh, can I, by the way, move? Yes, I can. Whew. It's not much of a problem to move it back using the load adjuster. <coughs> um, but anyway, let's load the Eastern Tower and see what we can build in there. So I remember that um, uh, the idea that I had for it was to make some sort of a restaurant, maybe. <coughs> a commercial zone, perhaps. And that's why I was um, making this uh, platform in here. It was supposed to be like an open area that we could um, maybe build some um, tables out here. And then, yeah, the rest is going to be like a, you know, a trade hall or something. Hmm. But yeah, so far we only have like a shell and a very basic one, like without much going on for it. Hmm. But yeah, I think it's it's a pretty good start. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Hmm. But so maybe you guys have some sort of an idea of what we can add in here. So I think mm, the restaurant is gonna be like a 100% thing that's gonna be located in here. But I'm open to any suggestions that you may have. But I think it's always fun. Mm, you know, to toss those ideas around in chat. And uh, that's something I learned the last time when I was uh, streaming mm, on Machinima. Because, yeah, the idea that you can come up sometimes is just great. So, mm, I started to cherish that a lot more than, you know, than initially. <laughs> um, final on vacation, so probably we'll be able to make it a couple more streams. That's terrific to hear, Markva. That's great. And, uh, by the way, where are you working? Like, what's the field that you're uh, in? I'm also interested to find out, like, who my audience is and what they are up to. <laughs> For some reason, I uh, imagine it being very versatile and very, um, you know, different. Mm. So I think I need, uh, wait, no, not a slow motion, but um, move objects on. Uh, to just move these things around. <clears throat> and, um, you know, let's probably do mm, this mm, add the missing mm, railing in here or like the, the fence or maybe even the half wall so something to finish up this look and um, I think it should be something mm, made of metal you know just to complement the stuff that we had all the way there but still it's gonna it has to be rather tall because again for, for safety reasons and stuff <laughs> hmm so let's see what we have. Uh... Oh, by the way, I think one of the future streams or videos that I'm gonna make is gonna be another Maxis build, but again using this uh, preset that I've come up with. Uh, you know, just with the um, Maxis objects that have something red going on with them. I think it's gonna be pretty fun to try and build something like that. Ooh, yeah, it should really be fun. Mm, but let's. So now let's go back to let it simmer game. Oh, and uh, yeah, so what we were up to, we wanted to place some railing. Um, the one that we have over there is this one. So we can probably just try and add it just to finish the look. And then we are gonna mm, find something that would match this uh, even better. So let's probably do it like this. So we have a, a what by what? Uh, a 7 by 7 in the middle. Mm hmm. Do you use a lot of CC for your builds or do you just keep it vanilla? I do use a lot of CC, but uh, when I'm making just regular builds and uh, when I'm working with Machinima. Uh, this time around, it's just the idea is to have a Maxis match uh, lot. So yeah, this time we don't have any CC at all. Other than, I believe I have a couple of... Uh, you know, like Maxis enabled objects, you know, like the ones that you can find usually just um, as aspiration rewards or, you know, stuff like dating things, all these uh, tombstones and urns. So, yeah, just again, Maxis objects, but that are not usually available to you. Uh, just, you know, when you're building a, a lot like that. Hm. What about me? Mm, oh, you're a condo manager for pretty big online furniture construction materials. Wow. Well, that is interesting. So you are writing articles, right? Mm. And can I say that you're in marketing? Huh. That is interesting because I think we can 
say that I'm in marketing as well. Mm, so I'm working for a small IT company and uh, I'm currently responsible for affiliate management branch of it. And believe it or not, one part of my job is creating YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm not sure how I got myself into that, but that is pretty fun to do. Though mm, sometimes I feel like, uh, you know, they say that uh, make a hobby your work and uh, you're gonna be happy for, for the rest of your life, but uh, these days I'm starting to think that uh, make a hobby your work and you no longer have a hobby <laughs> or something. Because when you are doing something just for the uh, for hell for the hell of it, like I'm doing here uh, with uh, these videos, um, it's one thing. But when you are mm, just working it for making it for the living and uh, you have some obligations, it's a whole other deal to uh, to do. Oh, and I think that we may not be able to place these fences in here. Otherwise, we're gonna have um, a situation like this going on. Huh, oh, that's kind of a bummer. Because yeah, we don't have the tiles that would support the, the thing. Because it's right on the edge of the lot. Well, well. Mm, maybe I can just... Finish them up a bit uh, earlier. And let's see how that would look. Does it make sense? I'm not sure if it does, but well... Let's keep it this way for now. And then we need to make the uh, three, three tile sections. I remember that uh, Alex Art uh, posted an interesting short where he showed how you can add these uh, columns uh, without needing to you know, remove the, um, the fence. But for some reason it doesn't work for me. I imagine that he just uh, put them like this and then he remove the fence or something but if I'm removing the fence it uh, removes it with uh, uh, you know the the column as well hmm so I might need to do that uh, the old-fashioned way just you know remove them with control and uh, building them back uh, then yeah let's have the same thing on top like that and from the other side so let's just go the symmetry route like so, like so, yeah? Yep, exactly. Well, just... Mm -hmm. uh, without these beams. Wait. Where have they disappeared? Uh, like so, and... Uh, like so. Yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, then we had a pretty interesting door all the way here it was a huge uh, this two-story door but it, and it made sense because uh, we made this a uh, lot into a church but I'm not sure if that would be the same for this portion of the build because uh, again as I mentioned this is gonna be more of a trade hall thingy so maybe we can try and add something closer to this one. Hmm. In fact, why don't we even use the same one? Maybe even uh, a double, double, double door. <laughs> For me, it's more like uh, managing product pages, pricing and how the website looks. Oh, I see. So that's like what... Um, um, creating the product cards. Is that what they're called in uh, content management, I believe? Hmm. That is interesting. I remember once I had a job that uh, had to do with uh, mm, writing articles for um, like a, a games related uh, blog. So I had to translate um, the articles that uh, you know, came out in some um, English speaking, uh, from English speaking sources and then um, translate them into Russian and vice versa. But yeah, it didn't last for long. Unfortunately, because um, even though I have uh, my degree is um, translation and interpreting, I don't think I'm that good of an interpreter or a translator. <laughs> Still, that uh, gives me the ability to be um, communicating in English, so that is good enough for me. Uh, wait, that's not the, the uh, window that we were using, so let's go back to using this one. Mm. 
and this is uh, which one is it oh. I've lost it here what yeah that there it is uh, though it's a one tile uh, window uh-huh well in such a case yeah looks pretty nice though uh, let's recolor it right away uh, so we need something blue and blue does anyone remember that song from uh, the beginning of um, 2000s <laughs> Fellow linguistics major, oh yes, <laughs> I believe that uh, very few people who have a linguistic, um, like, what do you call it, a diploma, uh, a degree, that they end up working in, uh, you know, linguistics, so to speak. It's usually something related to that. I like, you know, marketing, but for the um, English-speaking world, or... Oh, the, the stereotypical thing was... Uh, to be a translator for uh, like a bride over uh, what do you call that like bridal agencies where you find <laughs> like your wife uh, abroad uh. hmm nice iPhone 65 good times <laughs> yeah one of those catchy songs that you can't get out of your head if, once it gets there oh just a classic um so let's put these uh uh, like so yeah they need to be um so we're gonna have another building that's gonna be located right in this corner and it's probably gonna be like um, another small tower hmm or maybe it would make sense to have some sort of a parking zone in here but still like we have this uh, portion mm. so we need a connecting lot Hmm. And then uh, we will probably have like a one gap in here, so the window on this lot would also be like a one tile from the lot edge. So it would probably make sense to have the two white gaps, like so. Maybe even leave it open like that. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it like this. And um, I'll probably need to add some other... And like huge windows that was sort of like a showcase or what do you call that you know the big window that you have in front of the store where you put all the stuff that you're selling there's like there was supposed to be like um, a specific term for that Ooh. i like the fancy look of this one <laughs> maybe we can make it work somehow i think we can Hmm, maybe if we place it somewhere in here. Um. Hmm, interesting. Like, it's a different blue color, but still it's blue, so... Huh. Display window, yes, thank you. <laughs> That's what it's called, exactly. Mm. So, we're gonna probably have some sort of a shop in here. Um, and then from that shop, uh, we could probably add uh, like a bathroom somewhere in here in the middle. Um, that would be like a walkthrough bathroom. So that you can go through the bathroom to this main hall. Uh, which is gonna be like... Um, what can this be? Mm. Maybe really some sort of a... Maybe a gallery, but not a gallery like again. Um, just a pretty room with uh, some decorations that would then lead to the restaurant on the second floor and then the entirety of second floor is gonna be just like one huge restaurant oh wait not second floor third floor this one's gonna be restaurant <laughs> and then on the second floor we're gonna have a bunch more little shops hmm yeah i think that would work on the other hand hmm <laughs> Will this be enough for, uh, for a restaurant? Let's actually put some sort of um, a floor in here already. So that we have a better picture of how much space we have in here. It's gonna be something like this, right? Mm. 
And then we also need to fit in uh, a kitchen. And it's probably gonna be located somewhere in here. Uh, maybe like so. Yeah, there's gonna be like a huge kitchen. We're gonna have some sort of a bar zone in here. And of course, uh, then we're gonna have a, a door for the uh, waiter. Then in here we're gonna have uh, just an inner zone with some tables. And the outer zone with uh, the rest of um, all this stuff in here. Hmm. You're righty. Sounds good for now. Oh yeah, by the way, this week was also um, uh, noteworthy for my move into a different apartment. This time it's uh, almost final. I still have my chair to move here. Because yeah, right now I'm sitting just on a regular one. <laughs> and not the gamer chair that I usually uh, sit on during streams. And it's just that I was so frugal that I decided to save some money on um, you know, the delivery service. Because that cost quite a hefty sum. So I decided, nah, I'm gonna do it by myself. But then um, carrying um, a huge chair on my back is not really a viable option. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do that some other time. Uh, um, I think we're gonna have just the same window in here, like so. Maybe we can move uh, these things just a bit to the side so that we can locate the door like that. Mm -hmm. Um, then we can probably um start placing the um, uh, what do you call that um. I'm already stressed thinking about stairs placement. Ooh, <laughs> stairs are always fun. Why? I like placing stairs. They are not that difficult, especially in this case, I don't think we're gonna have much of a problem. Because we have all this huge uh, space in here, you know, the, um, the far zone, and we don't need any windows in here. So, yeah. Congrats on moving. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so glad to be uh, living now in a new apartment, you know, which is like a it's a smaller stu uh, studio that I uh, compared to what I had before. Like before that, I was living in a um, like two room apartment, so it was just like, oh wait, why can't they place this stuff? Ah, oh, well because it's like two, only two tiles from. Oh, that is a bummer. <laughs> yeah, in such a case, we're gonna have to move the stairs just one tile in here probably. Hmm. Or we will move it somewhere in the middle, maybe. Just like so. Hmm. Maybe we can have like a, a double stairs. Huh, okay. But yeah, I'll probably should uh, uh, try and make this in a more mm, like stage-like approach. Because right now I'm kind of uh, sort of... Uh, jumping from one part to another and um, yeah, let's first finish the Like the shell with all the windows and the stairs and that's gonna help us with the uh, building like the inner walls and stuff hmm. Coming from sims 4 to sims 2 and I haven't really built so everything stressed me out a lot <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can imagine that because after the sims 4 it's um, Yeah, it can feel a bit um, uh, What's the word for that? Like um not obsolete, but you know, somewhere behind. Uh, but still, I enjoy building in The Sims 2 a lot. Like, I don't have much experience with The Sims uh, 4 and 3. But yeah, I know that there are a lot of features that uh, got really, really handy. Mm. Oh, interesting. Telegram chat. Mm. So is this how it's supposed to look? Let's try and add the stairs. Um, which ones can we place, by the way, inside? Mm. Yeah, I don't think it would make sense to add um, the Y. Some wooden ones. Uh, this is the point where I'm like, oh, I wish I had some CC uh, recolors that really match here. Though we do have these stairs. Oh, let's try. No, that's not what we need. Maybe it should be... Um, this for like so yes um though now the this like uh, what do you call it? Not, not a u-turn but some sort of um 
What would you call this turn, by the way, in English? Because a U-turn is when you make like a, a full 180 degrees turn, but this one is what? An R-turn? Just a right turn, left turn? Mm. I played some Sim 3, but um, the color wheel makes choices so difficult. Oh yeah, that's the like choice paralysis. Like when you have too much stuff to choose from, uh, yeah, you really can't choose. <laughs> so the less options you have, um, the easier it is. So that is really so. Mm. I remember feeling that yesterday when I uh, visited, mm, you know, like, um, what do you call that? Uh, like a shop with all the stuff for mm, you know the apartment because like when I moved I didn't have uh, anything in this apartment like not a single plate not even um, wait I did have uh, one boiling pan but only one and it's really really small so really not enough for me mm. so yeah when I got to the shop where you have like all the choices it was really hard to try and uh, just choose something that would suit me. I'm really usually stressed out in um, shops like that, especially when, you know, they're like huge malls and supermarkets. Mm -hmm. That's also one of the reasons why I hate just shopping for uh, for clothing. Oh, that's like probably the biggest uh, thing that I just hate doing. <laughs> Clothes, yeah. Oh, and I also think that we can probably do some sort of um, like a two-storied hall in here. Huh, really? Let's maybe mm, add some sort of uh, a shape like this, and it's gonna be like an open area in here. Yeah, like like so. So in such a case, we can then remove this stuff. Mm, and then we can add some nice looking columns in the middle. Ooh, those are gonna be looking very nice, I think. Mm, so, uh, what did we have? In here, uh, I believe it would. Yeah, it was this column. Was it? No, it was this one. Yes. <laughs> Let's see how it's gonna look inside. Uh, will it even make sense to have it inside? Not sure. So let me put on the quarter tile placement. Like so, and like so. Ooh. So we have this, you know, monumental look and feel to it. Who that looks good. Thanks. <laughs> uh, that's why I try to keep it kind of minimalist. Oh yeah, I totally understand it. Because hmm. uh, I think when right now I have like two black t-shirts, two white t-shirts that I use for sleeping, and um, that's pretty much it. I have two pairs, uh, just a pair of uh, you know pants that I use uh, inside, just you know for the sake. And I have only one, one pair of jeans, <laughs> and that's it. Um, I don't do a lot of color because it probably will look like a, <laughs> a thrown up color palette. Ooh, yeah, I totally understand what you mean by that. I try to be reserved with my colors as well. And uh, it's usually, like, when you make it intentional, it tends to look good. <laughs> like in this case, uh, when I try to keep it more of a, like, you know, monochrome with gray tones, but still having like the accent colors uh, in blues, it sort of makes sense. Uh, though, you know, maybe in this particular case, um, we might try and uh, just uh, try out some other accent colors because uh, in in this park we use a lot of uh, reds uh, and blues were more for you know the the governmental block. So maybe we can still keep uh, the blue windows for uh, this side of the build. <gasps> Though, wait, will I even be able to place some sort of windows in here? I don't think I can. Or can I? <gasps> Whoa! I was really scared <laughs> that I will not be able to put the windows in here, but... Oh, what a relief, dudes, what a relief! Mm, so, yeah, I'll probably keep them like this, just very symmetrical. Mm, yeah, should look pretty, pretty good in here. Have like a three tile gap, a two tile gap, two tile gap, and then we're gonna have another two tile gap. Yeah, kind of looks nice. Looks nice, I believe. Uh, the other way that we could do that, by the way, is uh, I said just seven. I would die <laughs> if I lost this. Uh, I suppose like to play it risky. 
But yeah, that's a really good suggestion. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Crisis averted. <laughs> yeah, because imagine just having a plain wall in here. I mean, I could probably add some sort of uh, greenery because even in uh, like in the vanilla game, we have all these. Uh, where are they, by the way? So these ones, right? The the vines. Mm. So we could add those, but I think it's much better to add them on top of adding the windows as well. So, alright, so that part of uh, the shell is kind of in place. Mm. Now let's think of um, the stuff that we can place in here in terms of the walls, because uh, and something should be stopping people from falling down, right? <laughs> it would really be a bummer if they just... Uh, and we jumped from the second story, or the third one. Hmm. So let's see, what do we have in here? Oh, we have these blue things going on. Oh, I think they, they can look pretty interesting. I can know if we add some flowers on top. And they kind of rhyme the blue color that we have going on. And again, we have the matching ones that didn't have any flowers. Hmm. Well, that's one idea. Then what else? Uh, we have the... Well, well, no, these are just... They don't make sense with the whole, you know, historic vibe here. <laughs> no more light adjust adventures, please. <laughs> we had enough of that last time. <laughs> yeah, it was... It was interesting back then. <laughs> yeah, this time I want to just keep building and making... Uh, what do you call it? Like, pretty stuff. This one doesn't look that blue to me. I mean, just compared to what it looks like in, in here. <laughs> um, yeah, there isn't that much choice when it comes to, you know, some sort of a blue f a railing going on. Hmm. How big is your CC folder when you play with CC? Um, well, why don't we go and take a look at that? So I have a couple of presets for my EA Games uh, folders. And so the one that uh, has all of them is called Uber. So that that's like has the majority of uh, the mods that I downloaded, like including all the building stuff, all the stuff for Machinima and all of that. And uh, let's see. So if I just press the properties in here, uh, let's see. Oh, it's under 10 gigs, like eight, almost 9000 files and uh, 400 and 30 folders? Jesus freaking Christ. <laughs> I did not realize it was that many. But yeah, uh, I used to have a lot more than that. But then I just got crazy uh, with uh, using the... What do you call that? Um, the CC merger. And that um, really lets you combine lots of lots of uh, like CC packages just into one file. So I started doing that, for instance, with... Uh, mm, let me just, for instance, my cast clothing. So, like, each one of these files is, um, like, uh, a combo of a mesh and all the swatches that come with it. So, if I remove uh, one file, it's gonna remove, like, the entirety of that outfit from the game. And if I remove the outfit uh, just within the game as well, that's gonna, again, uh, remove the file that contains all the swatches. So, I, I know that some simmers uh, don't like it this way, because they... Uh, Sometimes just revise the swatch that they have, they replace ones uh, with the others. But I usually, I, I either have an outfit or I don't have it. Like, I don't really um, do that much stuff with uh, different swatches. So, yeah, this one works for me. And it kind of lets me to keep this uh, file number low. Mm. And uh, in case of uh, this folder that we have, like, I still have... Some mods, uh, some of them are just essential for graphics. Uh, just, as you can see, I'm ha I'm using um, the uh, clean UI, that is Starship UI, I believe. Like, no, the, the black one. Some other, just some fixes. Um, I think I have a couple of Machinima mods, because I was uh, just creating some sort of little stuff. I don't remember even for what, but yeah. That's all that I have. And yeah, the mods that uh, enable the Maxis objects. Mm -hmm. I have the same UI. I love it. Yeah. Um, always the pro dark theme guy. 
So whenever I can make it dark, I'm going dark. Hmm. Do, 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 do. My cast default alone is about 2 gigs. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, it's always nice to have some variety when you are mm, creating sims. Hmm. Ooh, we also have this portion. Well, this fence. Oh, I know. Th this might work as well if we add some sort of uh, like a roof on top. Hmm. Yeah, I think this might work. Um, though I think we will have to stop in here. <laughs> and do it like this. So does, does it make sense? Well, I mean, it, it looks nice in terms of the color. But let's then see what sort of a roof we can come up with. Um, it's probably gonna be stuff like this. Another blue one, probably. Oh. Hmm. I kind of don't like the fact that it's... Uh, uh, like, you know, the upper portion is sticking. Uh, like, through the stuff. Mm. And if I try and uh, extend it one tile more, I don't think it lets me. Hmm. A bummer. What about this one? Ah, looks cheap. <laughs> looks really cheap. Nah, no, don't like it. Also have this thing going on. But no. I mean, it sort of rhymes with the uh, window that we have uh, on the ground floor. But... Mm, I don't think that's something that they would use in here. Do you? Mm. We might create some sort of, you know, just a, a mock... Mm. What do you call it, by the way? Is there a word for that? Awnings? Is that... Is that a word for it? Awning. Huh, interesting. Never heard of it. Something new I found out today. Um, like, you know, just using some sort of fences, I... I'm pretty sure I've mm, seen other simmers do it like this. Uh, but we then need um, to place temporary walls. Um... Let's first place the uh, the floor, and then we can add uh, a bunch of uh, temporary walls just to be able to place all sort of other um, like, you know, fences, uh, like so. So let's see, will we be able to create some sort of, uh, ooh, maybe even this one? You know, the one that comes with, um... oh, I think we can do it this way. We, we even didn't need any walls in here. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so the idea that I have is that we place uh, all these uh, like beams, like uh, like so probably, and like they have inbuilt lights, and then we just remove them. Uh, I mean, remove the the floor. Oh, but then, yeah. I really think I didn't I didn't need to place these walls in here. Because they kind of killed uh, the columns that we had going on with, uh, um, like with the fences. Like so. Um, yeah, but I kind of missed with, the <laughs> with where the beams uh, are supposed to go. But, yeah, I think it kind of works. Does it? So I think we need to play around with the, uh, um, like the direction that we place them because uh, the thing with these fences, like uh, the one that I uh, they have used in there. So if you place them from left to right, you will not be able to see the uh, the lights. But if you do it from right to left, here are the lights. So like working with these uh, fences and some other ones as well. Like uh, the ones with uh, wood flowers. So you need to be knowledgeable of the direction that you are using. Because yeah, they can be on, on different sides. Hmm. But yeah, let's let's then fix... Um... Ooh. 
how this is supposed to go. Just taking into account the columns that we have uh, below. So in such a case, these need to go like this and... Uh, yeah, let's have them facing outwards. So we have like a... a or maybe inwards? Oh. Hmm. How long have I been playing The Sims 2? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Um, I think it was one of the first games that I got for my PC. And so I got it when I was in the fifth grade. So I was 10 and that would be, well, 2004 or rather 2005 because I got my very first PC mm, for my birthday, which is coincidentally uh, right next to the new year. <laughs> so my birthday is uh, December 30th. Mm, so that's when I got my PC and uh, there were some starting games and then my my friends uh, brought me like, uh, I believe it was on five CDs or six CDs and it was like definitely not a license once it was like a, <laughs> a pirated uh, version of The Sims 2. But I didn't like it uh, the first time I installed it. Yeah, I think um, I started with uh, The Sims 1 first. And only then I kinda got into uh, Sims 2. <laughs> um. Alrighty, so does this make sense? Hmm. Maybe it would make more sense if we... Maybe located these lights outwards, huh? I don't know. So, wait. If that is so, that would make me like a 20-year veteran of playing The Sims 2. Jesus freaking Christ. <laughs> what about you guys, by the way? When did you start playing The Sims? I mean, The Sims in general. The Sims 1 including. <laughs> I was in college when The Sims 2 came out and my PC was a potato, so I couldn't play it. Oh, super into Sims 1. Oh, yeah, I can imagine it. I believe it I started with The Sims 1 because um, I was at my cousin's and uh, he had uh, a, P uh, a PC before me and so he like was a lot more knowledgeable you know, in terms of the games that were out there. Mm. And so yeah, he showed me uh, Neighbors from Hell, if uh, you guys remember that game where you, you're playing as a, like a, as a young dude who is supposed to, for some reason, um, like terrorize his neighbor, make some sort of pranks on him. Um, so yeah, I was playing that one, and then he showed me The Sims 1, and that's when it all started. Oh. <laughs> Sims Superstar. Hmm, is that, is that one of the expansions for The Sims 1? Because I believe I played uh, just the vanilla Sims 1 with uh, one of the first um, expansion packs, and that's it, like... I missed out on all of those uh, you know, additions that were in The Sims 1. And then I started playing The Sims 2 and then it was... Uh, I didn't really feel like playing The Sims uh, 1 anymore. Ooh, maybe we can... Um, so add like this, we have like a whole section in here. Yeah, looks pretty interesting. Yeah, that's what it was called in Russian. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Uh, let's see, um, one part of me wants to add uh, the beam in here, just, you know, to add it. Ooh, maybe we can try and uh, add some sort of uh, a shape like this. Ooh, let's look at this, guys. <laughs> just, again, I'm improvising with the shape. <laughs> mm. Maybe we can uh, then do it like this. Oh, it's gonna be a plumb bob, dude. We are gonna have a plumb bob on top. <laughs> Diamond sheep stuff. Yep. Me likey. Um, maybe in such a case we can then... Uh, we could probably remove then these beams. I don't think they make sense in, uh, in such a case. Or do they? Huh. Mm. Maybe we can add uh, just a beam like that. 
and the beam like that. Hmm. So some weirdness going on with the with the fence. So I was a freshman in high school during Sims One. I think I could only afford a hot date with my allowance. Ooh. Yeah, back when uh, back when you're in school, you don't normally have uh, that much uh, pocket money to spend on on the games here. But I remember saving a lot of them, and uh, uh, we had a system of you know exchanging discs. So like uh, the way it worked is that you could come to like a uh, um, shop with discs, buy some, I don't know, just a game, um, install it, then come back and exchange um, this disc that you just purchased for a different one. Just uh, having paid some additional small um, amount of money, but that all of that depended on the game that you purchased. Like if it was a like a new re released bestseller, it was just one price, and uh, you wouldn't be able to exchange it for any other game. So it was a pretty interesting system in here, <laughs> and that really allowed uh, us to play all sorts of different games. And back then, I was also actively you know burning discs, um, like using the uh, what was the name of that app that allowed you to, you know, write some information on the discs? And so yeah, I was kind of pirating stuff, but well, what could you do when you don't have access to <laughs> to that much pocket money? Um, so let's see. Uh, I think I can remove some particular portions of uh, the floors uh, and leave some. So I'm just uh, once like that, maybe. And then, of course, I will also uh, use uh, some nice looking tiles in here. Hmm. Uh, or maybe uh, let's use it like that, and we'll remove uh, this portion. Yes, like this. Hmm. Then it also kind of makes sense to have uh, these lights go like this. And then we don't need these lights. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Unless the game required the CD in CD-ROM to play. Oh yeah. They were, they were like that too, I remember. Hmm. Really hated those. But they were usually like, you know, very expensive uh, official uh, like releases. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's cool. We had that like for PC. We had to use game stores that were mostly just console only. Oh, I remember we had a, a similar system going on for consoles as well. You know, back when we had like a, a Nintendo system. I know that used, you that used cartridges. So you could do it the same way. Like you purchase a cartridge, you come home, you play maybe like for a week or two. Like so, you finish the game, then you bring this cartridge back and just paying a small portion of money, you can exchange it for a different game. So usually it was you know, a constant exchange like that going on. Mm. Mm. I think if we have uh, this uh, thing going on like that in the middle, we need some sort of support for it. Like, do we? Uh, let's see, can we add, uh, so uh, I'm just gonna really quickly um, repeat the same shape uh, to see how I can, what I can do with it. Ooh, you know, something even wa wants me to make it go all the way down. No, just imagine heaven. Um, Like a, a hole in in the floor like this. Not sure why, and uh, I imagine this is gonna <laughs> that would turn into a disaster <laughs> during rainy days. Hmm. But I don't know. It looks pretty interesting to me. Like so, maybe even. We can probably have some sort of uh, like greenery going on you know, that would grow all the way uh, from the ground floor. I have a very tall, tall tree. Hmm. 
Well, this would probably require some sort of a CC tree to go all the way from the ground floor. Um, or maybe we can add these uh, bamboo trees. Hmm. Pine trees? Well, I mean, <laughs> it sort of works. I'm not sure why you would have it like that, but... That's something interesting. <laughs> Maybe this could be like... Uh, uh, a shop where they sell plants? This looks wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. So I think we'll then, uh, we'll then go with this idea because... Yeah, why not? Pretty fun. Mm. We might need to add something else in here. But I think, yeah, this... It's, it's a pretty interesting gimmick. So why not have it like that? Oh, and I think we can all then... Uh, add two more columns like that. Uh, then let's try and see what sort of... Uh, uh, floors we can use. Because, yeah, I think we need some sort of blue ones going on here. Like that. Hm. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda makes sense. Though, I don't know, it kinda looks too bright. Maybe this one a, a bit, uh, you know, grayed out more. Um, then what would we what were we using in here? I don't remember what style this is. Uh, I think we need to use something similar. I think it was this one, right? Mm. Ooh, we have something with the uh, blue seam. This is just mwah, perfect. <laughs> yes, we are definitely using this one. Uh, we might even do it like this. So, whoop. Yes. Oh my god. I'm loving it. And we're gonna have the same thing probably inside. So, uh, in here we are gonna have... Uh, uh, not the wooden floor, but uh, these tiles. Hmm. So, looking good. Hmm. Yes, do you have, by the way, any... Uh, sort of your favorite palettes that you use all the time. I think in my case, since my favorite colors are blue, black, and white, I sort of nev um, like gravitate towards uh, you know monochrome sort of look uh, with uh, well blue somewhere in it. <laughs> and in this case, I think yeah, this looks this looks pretty good. Um, then let's uh, find a fitting uh, door that we can use. Can we use this one? I think it can be like pretty, pretty big. Hmm. Just like huge double double door. Red, black and white. Oh yes, that is a wonderful color combination. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think red looks really cool with uh, with lots of stuff. Hmm. Ooh, and by by the way, uh, no, just for the sake of it, let's uh, go back to my red isolate just real quick. Uh, let's create a new one, and we'll call it hmm, blue isolate. And if we go to the color isolation, uh, we can try and uh, just specify a different hue. Now let's see if we can catch the blue one. Yeah, I think it's the one. Ooh, this looks... I mean, it kind of gets lost uh, within all the gray ones. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, when you isolate just the blue color... I don't know, it has this very lonely, cold sort of feeling. Hmm. Uh, and I think we need um, something that has more saturation within it. 
Oh. I just got messed up. I don't know. I kind of like this look. Really. Gray, black, blue, white. Oh. Hmm, interesting. So, yeah. I'm definitely gonna be... Uh, calling it an RGB challenge. So we're gonna be isolating reds, greens and blues separately. So it should be super fun. Mm. By the way, let's uh, fix this thing going on. Like so, probably. And uh, in the middle. Yeah, like so. Okay. Do we have, by the way, any other pine trees? So, or is it just the, the single one? Oh, we have this one. So let's probably use it instead of the... Oh, wait, it's like a huge tree. In such a case, it's gonna be even better. Hmm. I, uh, I remember... Back in my childhood, we had like a, a shack where you know we would store all the tools, and uh, we we had a tree growing from the roof like that. So I imagine that at first it was uh, like an apricot tree that uh, they planted some long time ago, and then as they were adding some uh, you know other stuff um, to the yard, they built um, like a shed around it and it looked pretty cool I, I just i love that place loves playing around and just you know uh, climbing on top of the roof just having my sort of um, like not a house but just a spot for myself there oh it was really fun i've been having some trouble with my reshade i feel like the mxl really smoothing things out oh that's a bummer hmm. i turn edge smoothing back on it kind of messes up other effects yeah that's that's true mxa oh and that is um, this one right oh and but I don't think it's that necessary to have it. Like it does add all oh, these cool shadows where like shadows supposed to go. But I don't think it's it's uh, that much of a loss if you turn it off. I usually turn it off as well when you know it uh, messes up the the shot for me. But yeah, reshade can be tricky. See, so, right? I think we kind of have the uh, the shell. For this portion, uh, let's finish the middle part. Mm. And I think we need an interesting window here. Like the ones that we had uh, uh, in here. So I, I don't really like the way it looks uh, from the neighborhood view, but it looks gorgeous from from just the lot view when you're inside. So maybe like... Uh, hmm... I wish I had uh, like an add-on that makes uh, turn this into a 1x3 or 1x1 one one, um, tile so that we could place it in the middle. Yeah, I think it, it would look pretty nice. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this one, to be honest with you. Like maybe if we turned... Uh, one of the oh like one of the floors uh, into some flowery stuff it would be uh, suitable hmm I must be wrong maybe it's not MXM maybe SMA yeah so the one that adds anti-aliasing um yeah without anti-aliasing it would be really hard oh uh, by the way you mm, did you know that um, the mm, order of effects matters so like they uh they are applied uh, from top to bottom so like the ui mask that i have right now is applied after all other effects have been added and so if i just try and play around with that oh, let's, let's go in here and i add bloom on top oh uh well it doesn't change that much in this particular case But yeah, but maybe you can see that uh, the uh, catalog, mm, what do you call that, like, uh, ribbon, 
changes a bit. That's because uh, I'm just changing the position of the effect. So maybe if you play around with uh, placing the... Um, where are they? Like this FXA, SMA, and uh, try and locate them lower, then they will work. <laughs> Depth of field. Ooh, adding some smoothness. <laughs> Um, so, what else, uh, what else, um, hmm, let's see, maybe we can add then the, these windows in here. Hmm, that's too much now. I like the way they look on, on the top floors, but not on the ground ones. Um, so let's just add uh, windows like this. Maybe like so. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it makes sense. Then we can also add uh, just stuff like I added before. Oh, oh, but yeah, first we need some sort of a, a support going on here. So let's try and see how that would look. Hmm. It's got a cool vibe, almost like some someone renovated an old church and made it into a shopping center. Yeah, that's a pretty good point. Because I imagine that that would, is probably something that would really happen here. Uh, needs support, so shall I add it like this then? <laughs> Location out of bounds. Oh, oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> we'll not be able to place like a flower bed there. Oh, and we can place it in here as well. Ah, oh, wait, I think I'm stupid. All I need is just some f floor tiles. And it's gonna be fine. Will it? Yep. <laughs> but not in this case. Uh, hmm. I can't even place a one tile in here. That is a bummer. Mm. <laughs> Let's probably use some other uh, tiles just just in case. So let's them add them in here, add them in here, so that we don't have any mm, you know, weather issues. <laughs> I don't know, if, if we're not able to place um, a flower bed in here, kind of ruins the idea. Maybe we can uh, shift the windows a bit inside like that. Yeah, I think it, it still works. And we should be able to place uh, the thing. Yeah. Oh yes. We are so doing it. Um, so let's remove this one and we add flower bed on top like that. Okay. Looks good. Mm, then we could probably add like even can't intersect fence or really? Can't it? Uh what if we do it like that? Hmm. And then we will need to place it like so. Oh yes. We are doing it. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure about the um the ground floor, we need to place some sort of uh, in here. Maybe we'll just add uh, a simple flower bed like that. Though we do need some sort of uh, like a support, right? I don't think I want to place uh, uh, columns like I did before. So in such a case, that would be something like this. Though why not? I think this looks cool. 
Because if we had a double double column like that. Mm. Though we'll probably need to add uh, double columns here as well. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What if we add uh, something like this? Uh, and then we find an interesting looking arch. Like this, probably? Oh, it wouldn't allow me because... Mm, yeah, because it's just one tile. Eh. Again, just logically, it it should work, but uh, again, according to the to the logic of the Sims, yeah, it's uh, not a, a walkthrough block. <clears throat> Ooh, we have this arch as well. I mean, it does look modern, but ah, no, not in this case. Uh, let's see what else we have. This one, but it's a two tile. Do we have a one tile variation of that? No, I don't think we do. Uh, this looks kind of like it's made out of uh, brick as well. And we even have a blue one. Dudes, we have a blue <laughs> a blue frame. I would have never thought. It, it's kind of too simple in shape. Hmm. Uh. I'm not sure if I like it. Maybe we can just move the columns in and this way they'll be able to support it in there like so. And then we are going to use uh, like so. Weird variation, but it kind of works, I think. <laughs> um, so we'll then go back to using these uh, archways. And let's see if we turn this into blue, uh, uh, a white uh, column kind of works in a weird way but but works just gotta be careful not to miss any in here um they kind of clip but I'm not sure if I can do anything with that <laughs> Hmm, what do you think, guys? Should I keep experimenting with this, or... Or I don't know. Hmm... Maybe if I move... Uh, like this... In, uh, removing this stuff... And then replacing the arches with a different arch. Ah, I will not be able to do that. Ah! <laughs> mm. What a bummer. Nah, it looks weird and it also clips in here. Mm. One thing that we could also do is uh, just make this um, like flower bed continuous. That's also like a viable option. Or we could uh, 
just an, again add a, a different shape in here. Uh, let's see how that would look. Mm. Oh, come on, dude. It, as I understand, it doesn't let me to delete it without the floors in here now. No, that's not the case. Uh, in such a case. Will I even be able to place it diagonally? Let's try. No. Doesn't let me do that. Uh, something tells me it will let me uh, do it like that. If I remove temporarily the floors, then I remove it like that. <laughs> and then it plays it like this. Oh. <laughs> Weird game with it weird rules, but well, what can you do about it? And uh, oh, yes, now you don't let me do that because of the floor, so, like so. Then again, remove this portion and add the wall back. Oh no, and why is it not working now? It is working now. Cool. Hmm. Working smart. Um, I don't like the way these fences then look. I think we need something uh, smaller. That has not that much in the way. Um, so what did we use there? This one, right? Oh. Uh, yeah, now I can't intersect the object. Hmm. The game, what are you doing to me? Yeah, it kind of doesn't make sense if you don't finish the... Oh, but wait. Can we first remove the windows then? First place them. Now add the windows back. I think I need to turn off my telegram so that it, does, it doesn't bother us with all the notifications. Uh, no, in such a case... Wait, it does work! Dudes, it works! <laughs> Ooh, I feel like I've bitten the game. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, I just... Uh, there's one particular uh, quote from... Uh, um, one Russian character mm, comes to mind. The one, the one that uh, said, uh, "Like, oh, what would be the best translation into into English?" Let me see. Um, so it was about beating someone in a game. Like, you thought I I would be able to beat you? Well, I've beaten you. <laughs> or like, you think I'm not able to destroy you? Mm, I will destroy you. Oh, the game. Oh, by the way, do you have any interesting recolors? Hmm. Maybe in this particular case, uh, you can pack it up after 20, <laughs> 20 years, lol. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Do I like the look of it? Kind of looks weird to me. Maybe if I do it like this. Mm, then we also add the like the seams uh, from the architecture tab, like this one. Mm, I wish the boxes could dark. Oh yeah, they will be darker. Uh, I've just forgotten to do that. Oh, I remember that uh, you cannot change the color if. Uh, you place uh, a fence like that on top. <laughs> Again, another weird The Sims 2 gimmick. So we can either do it like this, or maybe they can uh, sort of rhyme with these uh, arches that we have going on. Uh, let's see, what sort of uh, colors do we have? Huh. Blue ones. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, a part of me wants to add some sort of color in here. Just make it look as if it's made out of uh, and the wood. <laughs> Very cheap Chinese metal uh, siding. Ooh. Let's see, well... Yeah, I don't think we have that... Oh, wait, we do have these portions, so... Yeah, they kind of look nice. And I, I believe that this is the one that we used uh, on the... On this portion, right? Yeah. So this color is this one. Hmm. Nah. Yeah. But I don't know, something... Mm. No, not the developer ran out of funding. <laughs> uh, and who are you referring to? What sort of developer? Is there some sort of a... Like a, a company that went bankrupt? Huh. Part of me wants to make an accent color on this portion of the build a uh, different one. Mm. So maybe we can go with the red and green ones. Uh. Ah, the ship siding. <laughs> got you. For a moment I was worried that, I don't know, EA got bankrupt. <laughs> Though with the way that they run their stuff, uh, that may be coming. No, who am I kidding? No. They are cash grabbers, so that's probably not happening soon. Uh, yeah, let's try and uh, work with the red colors. Mm. Red and green and blue. Red, green and blue. Just like <laughs> the RGB stuff. And then maybe let's have a transparent one. Hmm. Yeah, going bankrupt would be a good thing. Well, maybe once uh, all the, uh, you know, uh, other Sims-like games come on, like uh, Life by You, uh, Inzo and stuff, maybe that'll, like, make it the final blow to EA. Let's see. Um. Oh, maybe. We can then even go and uh, make a different uh, window that would uh, match the, you know, the red brick stuff. Let's see, do we have anything like that? We have these windows and... Uh... Ooh, they look fancy. But nothing to match. They do kind of... They provide variety, so that's for certain. <laughs> So that would probably then look like this, right? No. And we also have a different one that is like a, an, an ellipse shape on top. Hmm. Who knows, EA has a lot of different franchises, but they don't do anti-consumer tactics. But they do anti-consumer tactics in all, the, all those games too. Yeah, well, what can you do when you are a big-ass uh, corporation that uh, needs to think about its profits? But, yeah, there are much better examples of how to run businesses than... Oh, wow. We can combine two windows to ha have that sort of shape. <laughs> a combination of the two. Interesting. Uh, which one do I like more? I think that the soft one makes more sense with the, uh, you know, the shape on top. Maybe let's do it like this. Mm -hmm. They let some cities think, yeah, that's that's true. But I think like with the games like uh, uh, City Skylines. Uh, like there is no, there isn't any competition for the same city, unfortunately. I wonder, by the way, how Will Wright feels about uh, you know his 
His baby going down like that. I don't think he's very happy about, about it. Mm. Let's see, do we have any other... Ooh. Ooh, this looks fancy. And it sort of uh, again, provides a, a green accent. And this portion... Hmm. Alright, let, let's uh, see if I can make that work. Mm. There is another window, but no. We will not be using that one. Uh, no, these are too mismatching, though. Hmm. There is an interesting feeling to it. Um... We have these church looking windows, of course, and uh, I think, yeah, they have the red brick going on for them, but um, you no, know, they are not see through. They are the stained glass ones, and uh, nah, that's not the vibe that I'm going for here. Hmm. What would be cool if Will Wright did an interview? Oh, yeah, I would really love to watch that. I think I was watching one of the uh, early ones that he um, hold, uh, that he held when uh, the Sims 2 were just um, in like the production. It was pretty fun, um, just you know, to see how his mind works because I think he is a uh, really um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm starting to get in some brain farts. <laughs> uh, he is a, a remarkable person. Yeah, that's that's the word I was thinking of. It's always fun, uh, fun to see like, the original ideas that he throws at you. Really just a genius. <laughs> hmm. Pretty much the only person I've seen from the old regime is Bart Humble, who is doing Life by You. Um, yeah, he's an interesting dude too, though I think he has a, like, a different perspective on what a uh, uh, life sim game should be. And I don't think I... Um, like, shared it that much. Because, um, as much as I played The Sims 3 and I enjoyed it, still, uh, something was off to me in it. I'm not sure what exactly, but... I know, I think... Like, he is more of a serious sort of a guy, and so his games are less quirky and more, you know, like, lifelike. Mm, because uh, that's even now put into the title of the game, so that must be saying something. Hmm... So, what shall we stop at? Uh, can we change somehow the... Like, the insides? I mean, it can be this dark color. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think this window makes more sense. As much as I love uh, uh, this one, it, it'll be going to a different uh, build. Now, as for the support structures... Let's see... Um, we don't need the, these ones anymore. I mean, this is uh, the part where something like... Um, Mm, Buggy Boo's niche set would just be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Or we can do windows like that. <laughs> Looks interesting. I'm not sure why you would have a uh, glass in this portion, but hmm. I don't know, let's see. Or maybe... Ha! <laughs> yeah, I got it. I think I got it. When we add all the greenery in here, this is gonna look so cool. Hmm. I like the idea of telling the story of a whole neighborhood rather than a legacy. Oh, yes. That's why the very first challenge that I got into was Build a City Challenge. 
because I like the like the feeling of that too, like that you have a whole town to govern, that you have all those like you know, intertwined connections, um, sort of like um, the Twin Peaks um, feeling feel to it. Like I, I enjoyed that show so much, and uh, it's really some the, the feeling that I would try to recreate with all my stories that I run. Hmm. Uh, no, let's, uh... Ooh! In such a case, we should probably even, uh... Dye these, um... Flower beds in some sort of a brick color. Okay, just to tie everything together. Uh, let's see, what do we have? So these bricks... But something closer to the ones that we have running in here. I think we should have something particular. Uh, like there is this exact color somewhere. Yes, let me try and find it. Nope, not this one, not this one. Well, this is just the regular foundation color. I love Twin Peaks. <laughs> High five, bro. <laughs> I think I watched it for the first time not that long ago, but yeah, David Lynch is another mad genius. Freaking love him. Especially his uh, uh, show on Californian weather. <laughs> so weird, but I know, so likable. Yeah, th this is not the color. Maybe it's in here somewhere? Ooh, I like the color of it, but uh, well, not, not for this purpose. Mm. Ooh, we can have stuff like this even. Looks weird, but I don't know. Mm. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, let's see now if I die it uh, this way too. Well, it sort of works, and it sort of doesn't. Uh, maybe we can just use a different uh, shade of gray. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh, this is much closer in color. And we, also, we even have this sort of a seam going on. Hmm. Pink. Yeah, let's probably go this way. I don't think we need to do... What if we dyed this portion as well? So, very interesting contrasting textures. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It sort of works. Yeah, let's keep it. Okay, let's not overthink it, and uh, I think this is gonna look pretty good. Because I don't think I have anything else that would suit as well here. Not even the bricks. And then, yeah, we also need some sort of a transition, remember, for this portion. So, uh, the building next to it will probably be... Mm, just using uh, like these bricks with uh, uh, the cornerstone. So that's probably where we can start making this sort of like transition to it. So now introducing specs of this color. Um, then what about the fence that we can place on top? Uh, maybe we can... Because right now the this black fence doesn't make any sense to me. Oh no! What have I done? 
like this. And let's see, and this one as well. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, of course. But let's see. Uh... Um, yeah. I think this is it. This is it. So let's uh, place it like so. Hmm. Maybe. Yes, you know, to get rid of uh, this uh, huge chunk in here, mm, we could also use this thing. Wait, wait, where was it? Like so. And just, you know, keep the middle part. <laughs> because, yeah, I, I don't like the, mm, this portion. But this way, it's sort of looks interesting what if we try and do it vice versa so we have uh, uh, this fence uh, to the sides and then we have uh, this one in the middle hmm I think this one makes more sense So, like so, and then we add uh, uh, these uh, fences. Uh, then again, we move the windows. Hmm. Weird, but kind of working. Uh, then in this case, uh, we should probably add this fence here as well, maybe like like so. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way it looks. Now let's fix the position of uh, windows. Their see-throughness. And uh, we also need to place um, um, like this dirt because we're gonna have some flowers there. <laughs> I've gotta go to eat but it was uh, nice chatting with you. Yeah, it was nice chatting to you too, Adam. So, mm, bon appetit to you, and uh, see you next time. <laughs> yeah, have a great Sunday too. Uh, so let's uh, probably finish with adding the flowers. Something, oh, makes me want to add, but not the weeds, but, you know, just the, the actual flowers. Mm. Maybe at the bottom we can place some sort of, um, like, shrubs. Uh, pink ones. <laughs> like so. Uh, like, like that. And then like this. Mm -hmm. Then we should also add the, the same uh, dirt oh! underneath. Can't I do that? Yeah, I'll have to probably mm, just dye it using this color. Like so. Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably add uh, some sort of a gr uh, some sort of grass in there. Like this portion. I have like a very lush grass going on there with additional flowers. 
Maybe even like this. They have a rather weird shadow going on, but... No, I think it works. And this is where we can add this uh, little uh, fence, like so. What sort of an object can... Oh, yeah, the flowers. I got you. Or... What about these ones? Yeah, I think these makes even more sense. <laughs> and again, this ties it uh, to the texture that we have, uh, that we'll have in the uh, ad adjacent um, building. Oof. This is the place where I should definitely <laughs> save. Hmm. Not to lose any progress. Uh, then let's add uh, the uh, uh, decoration parts. So in this case, it should be this thingy. Maybe this one. Or what else do we have? We have this portion as well. Yeah, I think this might work even better. So we have... Uh... Yeah, let's use this one. Like so. And like that. <coughs> then as for the diagonal parts, well that's also always when the fun begins. Oh, I think they're gonna be um, seen from inside as well. Will they? Oh, no, they won't because... Well, no, they are, but we can probably hide them behind something. So that's fine. Uh, now let's use uh, so these portions. And then these ones. Mm -hmm. uh, we should probably add this, uh, the same stuff in there. No, uh, just underneath the, the roof. Just to tie everything together. Uh, so maybe like so. Just gotta make sure that it's the correct height. So it's uh, two clicks below. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Hmm? By the way, guys, what other games... Uh, do you usually play, you know, along The Sims? Do you have like any particular ones? The other day I was thinking of uh, maybe it would make sense to add uh, some sort of variety to what I uh, like stream and make videos about. But so far, of course, The Sims is the the main one that I uh, create for. This, like one of the games that I'm definitely a huge fan of, is Rim World. Again, it's sort of similar to The Sims in a way, but much, much harsher, and it's a whole different vibe going on there. <clears throat> but if I were to add a, a different game to my channel, that would probably be Rim World. That's for sure. 
So yeah, something like this, and then I would probably... Vampire Bloodlines Masquerade. Oh yes, I absolutely adore that one. Even though I got introduced to it just not a long time ago. Maybe even like uh, last year or something. But yeah, it's it's a masterpiece. I haven't played the second part though. Have you played the new ones? I'm not really sure if it's if it's been released already. But yeah, I I love the characters, the narrative, and uh, you know the the role playing aspect of it. I don't think that many games uh, pull it off that well as uh, Vampires did. So yeah, that's definitely a favorite of mine. And by the way, Espilar, which uh, clan did you play for? Or did you play as? Mm. I don't remember how it was called. Uh, that was my childhood game, lol. <laughs> oh. Well, I think I watched someone's uh, like uh, review on it. And they were like, well, this is the, ge the best game ever. Like... Uh, um, the Forgotten Masterpiece or something like that. Huh, that is an interesting claim. I should check if that is really so. <laughs> okay, this looks kinda, kinda nice to me. Hmm. Venture of Vampires with Madness. Oh, I don't think I finished the uh, the run with... Uh, I've forgotten what's the, the name for the clan there, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so have I. Mm. Malkyrian. That's the name for it. Yeah, the one that <laughs> did, go, did get mad. But yeah, probably my favorite character is, of course, the Malkyrian um, uh, like, uh, girl in charge of the club. Uh, what's her name? So she's on... Uh, is she Theresa? Is she Theresa? Not sure. <laughs> Yeah, she is gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Uh, for some reason, I sort of uh, get the same vibe as with the Pleasant Sisters. I even uh, once had an idea what, um, what if I create like a story where um, there wasn't really like a Lilith and uh, Angela separately, but instead there was a Lily Ann that kind of got a split personality disorder. And uh, Lilith and Angela are sort of like two personalities that uh, always uh, uh, fight with each other. <laughs> and uh, you know, they are somewhere in, uh, in like a mental asylum. Hmm. There would be like an interesting twist on the Pleasant Sisters. <laughs> yeah, there was only one. Uh, there is a Jeanette, yes, Jeanette. Oh, there was also one that uh, uh, was in the nightclub. Uh, who was like, what What do you call that other clan that is like uh, famous for being like an, an artist and like all the courtesans and stuff. <laughs> Another idea for Machinima. Exactly. <laughs> but I had, I have so many so far and uh, I haven't finished that much. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta kind of keep myself focused. Because yeah, that's one problem that I sometimes have is that I just spread myself too thin. And I run too many projects at the same time. Um, so let's see, what sort of... Uh, Vivian. Yeah, that was the one uh, like in the second act, I believe, or something. Mm, yeah, that one is gorgeous. And... Uh, wait, Venture is the clan that is... Um, uh, they kind of like uh, rule the others, right? So like the main bad guy is Ventra. Is that right? Or may I mixing it up with something? Because I was playing uh, like my first run with the clan that is... Um, uh, like they are... Like they are the magicians. Yeah, those ones. Like that they uh, have like blood magic available to them. I remember the... Um, the prince was my crush. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Mm. Ooh, yes, I like these colors. <laughs> so let's use this one. One in the middle. Like so. Uh, 
And I'm really looking forward to the second part, even though I think that it already got some mixed reviews based on what they've uh, already released, but still, it should be pretty fun. Just know to get back into this vibe. Uh, can't I place it like I want to? Oh. And I think it's it's the wrong color. Yeah, it should be this one. Flowers everywhere. Flowers everywhere. Mm. Still afraid of Nosferatu. <laughs> yeah, run with them is a pretty unique one. <laughs> so I think that this portion of the build we need to dedicate to a flower shop. Like we just can't not to. <laughs> it would be a crime. And uh, uh, let's see, what should the other uh, part of it look like? Yeah, I think we'll have to we'll have to go with the regular windows. Yeah, just to tie everything together. So and and to keep everything consistent. Because again, we need to keep in mind how this would look from uh, a different um, lot as well. So yeah, let's do it this way. Do it this way. And do like like this. Yeah, sort of looks looks fine to me. They look horrible, and that's their appeal. Yeah, and their main power. Hmm. Like uh, when you're so hideous that you can run things from the shadows. Yeah. Mm. I kind of hate the fact that uh, this roof is showing in here. Uh. Maybe you can try and hide it somehow behind uh, like a little fence like this. Hmm. Looks interesting. So I don't think it makes that much of a sense here. Hmm. Do why not? Why not? Let's have it like this, yeah. So then, um, the middle tower. What should be located in the middle tower? Maybe we can use these windows and locate them like, like this. Uh, we can't place them symmetrically though. Just kind of a bummer. No. Hmm, this kind of looks. This song from the club is still in my playlist. Oh yes, the music in there is mm, just a masterpiece. Mm. And I really think I should add more uh, music from games uh, to my regular playlist as well. So sorry. Eh. Yeah, this one should probably go somewhere in like this. Maybe even just in the middle. I don't know. <laughs> Be healthy. <laughs> Thank you. I will try. Yeah, let's have it like this. Just need to add some sort of variety. Uh, then what? Uh, let's add it okay, like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I can't place it. Why can't they place it on the third floor? Or what was it? Fourth floor. Oh no. Oh no. Will I have to use these windows then? 
Yeah, unfortunately. Well, okay. Let's have it like that then. And probably even and put it like this. Hmm. Alrighty. Uh, then let's add the missing part in here. Oh. Oh. So this is a three storied uh, uh, columns and we need a two story column. So let's replace these uh, so with these ones. Like so. Mm -hmm. No, we also need some sort of a, a, a staircase to this portion, don't we? <laughs> uh, so let's have it. So like so. Uh, like this. Hmm. Or maybe one tile to the left. Hmm. Let's see how that would look. Yeah, I think this makes a bit more sense to me. Because yes, you so you run up this stairs like just like a, a single U shape. Then we're gonna have entrance to this portion. Hmm. So we're gonna have like two separate. Uh, shops one of them is going to be a flower shop mm. oh yes and let's add uh... do it have some sort of like gravel looking thingy this is pavement ocean's edge sand uh, wet addition mixed rocks you know we do have this thing yes I think we need something like this in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe mixed in a bit with the... Uh, with this. And pine, of course, yes, pine. Pine needles too. Hm. Yeah, looks pretty, pretty nice. Um, then what about the insides? Uh, what color should these be? Yeah, I think black ones look look okay. Oh, and uh, in such a case, I don't think we need these things, right? Yeah, no need for them. Just a nice looking entrance. Mm -hmm. And then we add this portion in here. And we finish it off with this fence. Like so. Hmm. Part of me even wants to add this portion in here as well. I don't know why and what for, but hmm. Hmm. What if we add a uh, uh, wall piece here, wall piece in here, and then we try and um, find some fitting columns? <laughs> These ones, yes. Or something like this. I don't think we'll have anything that uh, has blue color in it. Well, I mean, something that doesn't look that modern. Mm. But I sort of like the way this looks. Oh, the once again, we don't have uh, matching this portion. Hmm. Maybe we can have it go like this. Uh, we'll remove this portion and we will add 
it like so. Mm hmm. Looking nice. Yeah, looking nice, but without the middle section here, yes. Um, let's see, maybe we can add a door. Though I don't, don't know if it's gonna make sense to have a door in here. I don't think it does. Just these columns. Or maybe double columns like these ones. Looks weird, but I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, these. They are weird as well, but um, I don't know. We don't have uh, a double one. Hmm. Maybe it would look a bit better in here. <clears throat> Maybe we don't need it at all. Yeah, this looks cleaner. <laughs> Let's forget about that idea. So we have this portion. Uh, we will probably then add uh, so uh, these tiles. Just to signify that, yeah, this is now the outer zone. Like so. And then here we're gonna have just the, the insides. Um, then the... Oh, we'll have kitchen like this. Oh, that's why I had this floor uh, wall in here. <laughs> now I got it. Mm. Oh, we should also for, uh, remember that we need a bathroom. And preferably on each floor. Or at least, you know, one. Mm. So let's see where we can do that. I had an idea to place bathroom in here. Right, maybe just have it like that. But then it kind of mm, ruins this effect going on here. We could have a bathroom in here. But then how do you get into the these portions? Maybe have just one small bathroom like that. Maybe like this. Ooh. Yeah, I think this is what we're gonna go for. Mm, though I think we need to add a window like that. Let's have like a pattern like this. So one, two, one, two. We're gonna have two as well. <laughs> so which door looks most fitting for a public bathroom? Uh, let's see. This one? Or maybe a door like this. Oh wow. Yes, this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting bathroom to look at. Hmm. So what else? What else do we have? Now we don't need a single door. Oh, maybe yeah, the one that fits with the uh, stairs in here. So something like this. Hmm. 
Yep. This works. Uh, then inside, let me just place all these things right away. Go away. So I have just uh, this one stall. Maybe second one. And then in the middle, we're gonna have. Uh, uh, Not in the middle, but in there. Looking a bit weird, but kind of works. <laughs> yeah, let's have it this way. I don't think I've ever placed toilets like this, you know, in a, in the opposite direction. <laughs> This is interesting. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Have I missed anything in here? Part of me wants to place a, a window. Like so. And then add um, awning at on top. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe like so. Yes. I think this looks perfect. Do, do, do. Part of me also wants to change the brick color on this portion. But then it's gonna ruin the consistency in here. Hmm. Also, uh, can I add another window in here? Like so. Yes. And just again to keep the pattern consistent, we'll make it like this. Yes. Cool. So like this. We also have a huge portion in here, and we'll we need to somehow get inside. And we can do that probably using the same door. But let's uh, see if we can add a different color, maybe like a green one. Yes, and everything inside is gonna be green. But, um, we'll use... Uh, so this wood, which is kind of like grayish green. <clears throat> and in here... No, we're not gonna change anything in here, because this works for the outside. So, like so. Mm, now, we need some sort of a door for the restaurant. It's probably this one. portion in here, stuff in here, and I think we need to place a couple of columns in here, something like this, yes, to tie everything together. I really think this one even works. What about this one? Hmm, if we, oh, it would work like this, or maybe if I, 
place it is uh, snap grip uh, snap objects to grid off <laughs> like so In this particular case, I don't think I need it. Yes, we're just gonna have it like this. <laughs> so nice. Let's have another door in here. This time it's gonna be yellow. Yes, let's have it yellow. And everything in here will be yellow. And in here, on the second floor... Hmm. Well, let's see, what can we have? Part of me wants to have another... Hmm, like, cut out. So, like this. Not so that we have all the, uh, you know, the space for the branches. Then we have just you know a very tiny room with maybe some decorative elements, or maybe this could go. Uh, this could be another place for a bathroom. <laughs> like you go all the way here to a second bathroom. You know what, I think it even makes more sense than having a bathroom in, in here. Hmm. And then we can even have them separated into female and the and the male bathroom. Yeah, let's let's have it this way. Even though I like this idea and you know this kind of Thinking out of box, this makes more sense to me. <clears throat> I'm gonna have uh, these doors be like this. Or wait, let's have them blue. Like so. And then, of course, we're gonna have this portion. This is six. Like so. Like so. And then we're gonna have one in the middle as well. Or, no. In this particular case, I don't like the way that uh, all these columns look. I think they create too much noise. Let's have it like this, only in the middle. Or maybe even remove the middle section. Do we have uh, the same fence but without the columns? Do we? No, we don't. Well, <laughs> who would have thought? Alrighty, so this then looks fine to me. Um, let's create... Uh, Maybe an archway? Or simply remove and have this uh, as a... Just as a, as a joint room. We can probably have a, a column like this. But again, we'll have it black just to tie this together. And we can move it Like this. I'm not sure if the Sims will be able to walk through it. But I sure hope they will. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. So now, what about the uh, wall coverings? Um, let's see, what can we color this with? Uh... I need something fancy. Something really, really looking... Maybe even like this. Oh, regal tones. Mm. Do we have any other color for this? Or is this the only one? Have so we have white, we have gray, and that's it. White and gray. I think gray one looks slightly better. It better matches with the dark green color. But we can use uh, the white ones. In some other room. Maybe in here. Oh, and also need to think of uh, what I should do with this portion then. Because in here, I think I will start combining different textures. Maybe yes, even keep it as a some sort of raw brick. But you know, a very interesting looking one. Something like this, even. Ooh. Maybe it's gonna be only this particular wall. And then in here, maybe we can add the same thing. And then on the upper floor, maybe yes, this is where we're gonna use the uh, Ooh, yes, this kind of looks regal to me. Just like what a restaurant would look like. Cool. I'm not sure about this portion, though. So if part of me wants to tie this... Um, to dye this... Uh, white, I like this. And then we have this seam going on. Again, to signify this portion. And the gray. Or maybe we can color it with the, this look. Hmm. Do we have anything else in here? Hmm. Yeah, that's that's what we can find. Okay, um, hello there, Alex. Nice to see you today. How are you doing? So I'm currently working on the uh, wall coverings for this um, eastern tower. Yeah, this is gonna be like a commercial zone for The Sims, and we're gonna have a, a restaurant on top. I think I have some sort of a French vibe going on for this particular build. <laughs> you know, with all the the fancy looking uh, stuff in here, and you know the pink color in there. Yeah, that just screams France to me. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ooh, I think this particular table, if we had a table in here, it would look very nice. <laughs> a bit sleepy, but alright. Oh, I think it's pretty late in your time zone already, right? <laughs> hmm. um, let's think, what uh, should we... 
color this thing with them. Uh, the portion that leads uh, outside. Hmm. This looks interesting. Maybe yellow. Or pink. Hmm. <laughs> no, this is what we're going for. <laughs> Okay, uh, then as for the uh, the kitchen, okay, we need something plain yet practical because it needs to say that it's a kitchen. Maybe even use some sort of a brick texture. No, brick yet white brick, something like this. Yeah, this is gonna be like, like so. Then for the floors, uh, let's use some sort of uh, yes, fancy tiles like this. Again, screaming like it was. Ooh, or even this one, looking very bright. Hmm. No, oh, it is, but we'll, we'll see what that will be till the end of the stream. <laughs> oh, is that some sort of a challenge? <laughs> Do you want to see how far you can um, keep going? Ooh, let's use this one. We can probably even... Um... Uh -huh. I think we should choose something interesting for the floor shape in here. We'll have some sort of pattern going on hmm. so again we have a very fancy fancy restaurant going on on top hmm. Hmm. No, this is not well this is looking interesting I think it creates this interesting contrast mm. too dark but I don't know hmm restaurant sounds fascinating <laughs> thanks yeah, this should be pretty interesting. Because I think from the very beginning I thought that one of the buildings should be dedicated to a restaurant. And I think that this one, the Eastern Tower, is just perfect for it. So we're gonna have the entirety of the uh, third floor like this. So we have an inner portion, a small kitchen, and uh, an outer portion where people can also sit you know, just outside. I don't think we can fit that many tables in here. Still, some of them will be located there. Um, I don't. I don't kind of like this busy texture. Uh, well, we have this fancy stuff going on, but it's too bright. Just too bright. Takes all the attention. Maybe, yes, we can go with something like this. And try to make some sort of uh, interesting specs here and there. Hmm. <laughs> 
What about downstairs? Um, so downstairs so far we have uh, some ideas for shops. I think one of them will be dedicated, maybe even two of them, will be dedicated to plants because uh, this portion and it looks flowery to me. So I think it would make sense to sell all sorts of, uh, you know, plants, flowers, maybe garden utensils, well, all of that, maybe even some sculptures. So er anything that you can find uh, in uh, like a, a garden zone. Then in here we'll just have some another shop, maybe like an art shop. That would be interesting too, by the way. Hmm. Then just on the second floor we'll have just maybe some lounge uh, with uh, uh, two bathrooms, like so. Another shop. I'm not sure where what we'll be selling in here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hmm. This was my initial concept for a bathroom. I thought I would place it just you know, one on the first floor like this. But then I, I didn't know what to do with the second floor. And I thought it would make more sense to place a bathroom in here instead. Hmm. So we're gonna be like a shopping and dining out area. Yes, exactly. So like this. There's no everything to complement the commercial zone that I mm, thought for this particular neighborhood. Oh, let's make it blue. I'm blue, labudi, labuda. We already <laughs> remembered the <this> song today. <laughs> yeah, works like this. Mm. I don't think it would even hurt us to have uh, two separate bathrooms. Why not? Hmm. I think it works. A fancy bathroom and not so fancy bathroom. Yes, uh, again to to keep up with the high traffic that I think uh, would be happening here. Now, what about these uh, like these uh, shops? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. So this is a flower shop. I think we need to have um, a very toned down color to it. Maybe like this. And then here we're going to have yellow one. So that uh, the accents are the flowers themselves and the plants. Um, no, something like this could be the floor, yeah. And as for the second floor, you can have something like this. Ooh, very bright one, but I kind of like it. Hmm. No, it wouldn't make sense in here. No, mm, I don't really like the the floor. I don't know. It, it makes sense, but at the same time, it doesn't. Maybe something like this with a less busy texture. Because I think it's pretty distracting. Hmm. Ooh, this one looks really fancy. I'm pretty sure it's expensive, like 14 simoleons per tile. Yeah, let's go with this one. I think it looks nice. Uh, then on the kitchen, yeah, we're still gonna have this thing going on. Shall we? Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Alrighty, then, uh, what else have I missed? Um, so this portion in here and the, yeah, the first floor. Uh, what can we have in here as the the floor? So, on the first floor we should have something very durable, right? Is 
Ooh, floor like this. Let's see. And then we can also color this thing. Though I don't think it makes sense to have it like that. Um, we'll first need to add these portions too. Like so. Then like this. And in here, um, probably something more of an outdoorsy look. Maybe even like this. Okay, just to create this feeling that everything is uh, separated and has a different feel to it. And as for the second floor, mm, yeah, let's have some sort of uh, a wood texture, but different from this one. Though, does it make sense to have a different? After all, this is a like public commercial zone. So I think that would take into account that uh, a lot of uh, people are going back and forth. Hmm. White floor. <laughs> nah. Doesn't look right to me. Mm, let's see. Something like this uh, doesn't work either. Alinoleum. This might be you know, a, bla uh, a plain color like that. Oh no, it doesn't work. Mm. Yeah, none of this works. Uh, the best thing I had in here was uh, wood after all. Mm. Which wood then? Should be something inconspicuous. Oh, and uh, with the correct texture. Ooh, maybe like this. So this is what we had in originally. This is what we have now. Huh. So I have this thing going on. This. Yeah, let's have this one. I like it. Kind of clashes with uh, the blue color in here, but still it kind of works. <laughs> Alright, now as for uh, the tiles inside, uh, let's have them be this one. These ones, yes. I think they look nice. All right, and then as for the outside, I think we're gonna use just the. Uh, where is it? So this portion and this portion in here. Mm -hmm. Now where should these uh, phone booth be located? Maybe like this. They're sticking out a bit, but I think this less intentional. <laughs> Let's pretend it this way. Or maybe we can uh, make this awning bigger. Will we be able to? Uh, yeah, but it doesn't look right to me then. So, no. I'm not sure about this window now. Shall we keep it? Or maybe instead of it, add uh, a different one. So, a window like this. So, 
So something like this and uh, Hmm, I don't know. What if we keep uh, these windows going in, in this exact pattern? And we can add some sort of like maybe a small portion here, maybe like this. Maybe I can, where people can sit and, uh, I don't know, just... Eat. Hmm. Yeah, let's have it like this. In such a case, it even calls for making this some sort of a, like a, a coffee shop. Like if you're not fancy enough to go on the upper floor and dine in this restaurant, you can always grab a cup of coffee in here. <laughs> yeah, I think it makes sense. Then let's add a, a flower bed in here. Wait. Can't I add? Flower bed in here. I can't add it in here, but I can't do that in here. Well, okay. Let's simply add the flowers like so. Oh, in such a case. Mm. I'll probably need to make this even bigger. Like that. Mm. Hmm. Payforts are on the way. Uh, you mean that the Sims will not be able to use them? Hmm. I think if they can use at least one, that's... That's fine with me. Hmm. Oh, and I think that we need to add a couple more uh, columns that we used before. Just again to tie everything together like we had before. So in this particular case, it's going to be the white column here on the seam. Uh, so like this. But then, yeah, we're going to have to move this uh, third payphone. Yeah, I don't think we need it at all. At all. Hmm. Ah, that's why the foundation couldn't be placed. Hmm. Uh. Wait, no, I can I can place it in here. I can't place it because of the trash can. I was wondering why I can't place it in this portion to the left. Maybe it's because of this uh, covering. Hmm. Oh, then let's add some sort of a, a sculpture. Oh, that fancy lady that I put everywhere. <laughs> like so. Fancy lady. Just guarding the entrance. And then we can have some... I don't know. Something like this. Uh, with uh, with what? With a sculpture like this, or something else? Very very fancy. Ooh, a horse. Ooh, I know where these are going. Yes. Or maybe we can... Uh, so, um, 
let's keep like the pedestal uh, with this color maybe even this one yeah the one in the middle and then yes the horses are gonna be pink <laughs> Mm -hmm. Can we add another horse? Somewhere in here. Maybe if I turn them like this, they're gonna look even even more interesting. Yeah, like it's at the 45 degree angle. And uh, this horse needs to go eh, like so. Hmm. Who would have thought that a pink horse would fit in <laughs> somewhere? Are they aligned? I think they are. Oh wait, this horse is a bit to this side like this. Mm, let's check. Uh huh. Yeah, they seem to be aligned. Could maybe even add one in the middle, like so. Yeah, this is the final variant for this. Okay, cool. Mm. Then in here, uh, we could add another lady probably. So, three ladies. Rosa, Sheena, and what was the third one? Maria, yes. <laughs> uh, I still can't get uh, from uh, the Attack on Titan that I finished just the other day. Hmm. Uh. And then, yeah, we also need to turn them 45. <coughs> uh, like this a bit. Uh -huh. This one will be black in the middle and uh, two whites to the side. Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> then we need some sort of fencing to uh, protect uh, the flowers. So, like so, and like so. All right, you're looking fancy. Ooh, I don't think we'll have time today to finish uh, with the uh, interior and you'll place an old furniture. So I'll have to do that later in the background. But for now, I think, well, we've done some great progress. I really like the look of it. Uh, you know what? Let's save and uh, take a look at how at what this looks like from the outside. I mean, from the neighborhood view. Maybe it looks like shit, <laughs> and then all of this was in vain. Well, let's see. Hmm. Well, no. It looks pretty good, pretty good. Even the blue colors are... Well, they kind of make sense. And then remember that we are gonna have um, this park in here. So this is how this district is turning out to be. 
pretty pretty interesting still have a whole row of buildings to this side but yeah well we'll have to finish that some some other time yeah for now i'm pretty satisfied with how this turned out you ready thank you everyone for having been today with me it was really fun building this lot and uh, the next week i'm not sure what i will dedicate my stream to but yeah it's definitely gonna be something interesting as well yeah good night good day good morning whatever it is out there and i'll see you in the next one so sorry <laughs> goodbye